everyone so today's video is an acrylic painting and I haven't done one in a while so that was pretty exciting for me it's a birthday gift for my mom since she was begging me to do one for a decade <laughs> so I decided I wanted to do one and give it to her as a birthday present and it's basically just a ballerina dancing and I found that picture on Pixabay and I will put the links all down below. It's basically just a page where you can look up different photos to use as reference in my opinion because they are actually labeled as free for commercial use so I think if they're free for commercial use they're like a good option if you need some inspiration or just some post reference and I actually like that so much that I downloaded in full resolution I donated some money to the photographer because I actually want that photo as a print in my bedroom so in my one room studio apartment on the wall because it's just so gorgeous and as I said I will put the links down below to her Pixabay page and yeah the acrylic paint I'm using is Lucas Krill Studio I think and I'm only using about four shades I think of different colors it's just a yellowish brown a dark brown I think it's burnt sienna but I don't I'm not really sure a uh, carmine red I think I'm not sure just a dark red color and a beige and since my canvas is already like painted because I did the background a while ago so I didn't film that and um, the beige looks really white on the canvas but it's actually not white it's just a really light beige and I didn't pre-sketch anything so that's why you see me starting off way too big and kind of erasing it with some water and I mean it's probably not the perfect way to do it but it works for me so that's fine and since I just started way too big, I just kind of tried to erase it a little bit with some water and it didn't really go away that well because acrylics dry pretty fast but that's not a problem for me because acrylics are so opaque that you can just draw over it if you make a mistake so I wasn't really worried about making mistakes because I knew I could just paint over them with the background color and it would be fine. So that's also why I just didn't bother with pre-sketching anything. I just started and went with the flow. I had no idea what I wanted to do around the character. Like, I mean, I made, I just did draw the dust that was on the original because I liked the idea but I didn't know if I wanted to make a background like so that it looked like she would be in a room or if I just should make it like a gradient from dark in the bottom to light on the top. I didn't know at, the, at first so I just started painting and went with it and came up with ideas while I was drawing and I think sometimes that's just the better option like I like to have a full concept in my mind before I start drawing or painting or stuff like that but sometimes it's just better to just go with the flow and start and build up as you go so that's what I did and I actually think it turned out pretty good and for the fleshy tones kind of I just really mixed up that four colors 
with each other to create the different colors and shades I needed and if I just wanted light shading I actually put the color on it really dark and then I just like kind of take it away again with a piece of tissue paper and for me that has always worked pretty well so that's just the way I do it and I hope you enjoy watching and I hope I will see you in my next video.
Thank you.